guys, what's up? It's iJeff, and how is everybody doing? I am back with more Blockville FTB, or just Blockville Mod Pack. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'm going to be honest with you, I legitly thought there was something on my screen because of that guy right there. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, well, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so on the screen right now, I'm going to put a picture up. This picture is going to be what our theme is going to be this season. Uh, I really want to go for sort of um, like a rustic, almost not like a log cabin, but like more of a cabin feel to it. No, uh, I don't like log cabins. We'll probably end up using like a texture like cobblestone or something or cracked mossy or uh, I haven't looked through the actual textures yet to see what we have. We should probably do that right now. Uh, let's just see. Mossy. So the really, I mean, mossy maze stone brick. We can get that from the Twilight Forest. Uh, let's look up stone brick. I wonder if they put crafting recipes in for stone brick. Oh, they did. Yes. So we will be able to use this stone brick to our advantage. Uh, we'll be able to use this. We'll be able to use the cracked mossy. Um, do they have the cracked in here? I don't see the cracked. Uh, let's go. Where's that? <laughs> Recipe. Uses. Hello. There's the game. Okay. Well. <laughs> It doesn't really give me a, a crafting recipe. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to craft it by making one of these, though. Because um, if you can use the minium stone to make this, then you should be able to backwards craft it using that. I don't have any stone. A vast wow, virus vast. database has really? been updated. There we go. Alright, we'll take those four. Oh, we already have some. Look at that. Lucky. Alright, let's... Um, Stone brick. Let's just go ahead and test it out. Um, okay, that makes mossy. That makes cracked. And that makes chiseled. Chiseled. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we are set. Literally set just by that one little thing there. So what I want to do now is I want to move all this stuff um, and our animal farm and stuff here. I haven't been using this farm and I really, I actually do want to start using it because I've been like living off like raw flesh rotten flesh so uh just checking up on our bees these common bees are giving me trouble and i don't like it there we go so guys i'll go ahead and show you what i have been doing on the server um compared to what other people have been doing i have been working on getting material <clears throat> so much that I actually learned how to use computer craft a little bit. And you're going to be like, what? What's going on, Jevin? I'll show you. So all this is chunk loaded right now. Um, this is my strip mine. It's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the... I'm going to wait for... There we go. That, like... Um, now, don't be confused. On this mini map, there is... Um, above us, there is a mine... Uh, like a uh, man in mine shaft, but um, for the most part, this is all me. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you what I've been doing, is uh, let me grab my turtles. Two turtles, we're going to need some coal, uh, we're going to need some sticks. I wonder if we have... I've been using, I've been compressing my cobblestone. This is all stacks of 64 compressed into nine blocks, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, oh, and by the way, this is everything I've collected so far. Uh, there you go. I feel like I have more diamonds somewhere, though. Yeah, there's ten more diamonds right there. I haven't went through this chest just yet. This is stuff that's been processed. Um... And, like, this right here, this is just from all the strip mining. I figured you guys wouldn't mind that because that's kind of a boring part of this. Uh, so what I've done is I've basically just made a wall here. And actually, all this stuff needs added. Plenty of stuff here. Look at all this. Okay, let's put all this in there. Organize it. There we go. All right, so one of my game plans is obviously I love bees, you know, 
I was looking through the mod selections and Darkcraft has this thing called a Tome of XP. Uh, right here. And I'm not sure how you would go about crafting this. I'm, maybe you just click on it. I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Or experience Tome. Um, but uh, this thing holds XP. One of my goals for this series is to get a billion XP. And I know you're probably thinking like, Jevin, why in the hell do you want a billion XP? Why not have a billion XP is my answer. Um, <laughs> so I do have this area chunk loaded. Um, but of course there would be a ton of gravel there. It doesn't exactly matter. There. And there. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I've been doing on the turtles, and um, first let's go ahead make some torches. There we go. Alright, let's get rid of the S, and then we'll give this thing, let's say, six pieces. We'll do a quick refuel all, if I can smell the program. There we go, that should be enough. Okay, we'll do it with this one too. Okay, now I found this um, paste bin. Now, to use paste bins with computer craft, you have to enable it in your config file. <clears throat> Simply just changing a false to a true. Uh, pretty easy to get, pretty easy to do though. So, what you want to type in is paste bin um, git and then s9. Uh, BVU um, 2 ML and then update so it, it's downloaded the update so we're gonna hit update again it's gonna tell me all the stuff I can do with this and what I'm looking at is the 3 by 3 tunnel so now it's downloaded 3 by 3 tunnel successfully we're gonna type that in one more time okay how far do I want to go I want to go 50 blocks uh, so we need 10 or more torches over here, and it's going to start mining. So what this is going to do is, uh, I don't, I'm going to have to find the original video for you guys to link this, because I am definitely not the creator of this program. Um, but for the most part, uh, this works pretty accurately. It accounts for all falling blocks, sand, and gravel, um, and it will hit until it's gone. Uh, and it's t it tells you fuel remaining, blocks dug, placing torch, uh, and it digs a 3x3 three three tunnel 50 long. So we're going to do the same thing on this side really quickly. So just remember, paste bin. Uh, if you guys don't want me to um, tell you the video, I can just show you the steps. I'll write the steps down in the comments. Not sure I'll be able to find the original video is the problem. 2ML... There we go. Uh, hold on one second. There we go. So then we're just going to hit update again. <coughs> three by three tunnel. Um, then we'll do three by three. I don't know if we can. Okay, it's not going to let me. Three by three tunnel. Then we want to go 50 blocks. And then we'll put our torches there. Alright. So now this is going to just dig its little heart out. It's going to keep placing torches down. And we can actually leave this area. Because we have a chunk loader right above this ladder. And uh, let's actually go and see. Let's see. We might need to extend the chunk loader for this. So we're at 2... 40-ish. Let's go up the ladder and check and see how many chunks we're actually loading right now. Uh, this is a slow climb, guys. I'm sorry, by the way. Um, but yeah, I made a chunk loader. I really haven't been doing much besides working in the mine. What I'll do is I'll make those tunnels, and then I'll go through clear out of every single ore, process all that stuff, and then go back to doing it over and over and over again. So... So we're loading 49 chunks, and we're at 240. Uh, I guess I'm going the wrong way. Okay. 
so it would have been this way. Really? It didn't feel like I was going that way. And then it's going to go this way, 50, and that way, 50. I think we'll be okay. Even though I guess my sense of direction's a bit off. Um, hide lasers. Alright, let's go sleep really quickly. Um, we're gonna start moving this farm and stuff really fast. Alright, sleepy sleeps. Alright, so before we move the farm and everything, I kinda wanna show you around. Um, Nexus. Alright, so these, I should have brought food with me. Crap. Alright, these are the other people that have been playing so far. This is the Nexus. Uh, this is where everybody meets up. This goes back to spawn. I don't know if anybody's done anything at spawn yet. No, not yet. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh, let's take a little look around, shall we? So this is Krusty's base. Pretty sure Krusty has been strictly farming. We have Pam's Harvest Craft, if you don't remember. Um, and we've got some very unripe cherries, cherries, apples, uh, very unripe plums, uh, walnuts, um, limes, pear, mango, oranges. Wow, he's got everything here. Holy crap. All right, sorry about that. I had to fix my headphones. Uh, he's got lemons, peppercorn. Avocados, something, this is different. Dragon fruit, wow. And I'm sure he's got a big farm over here too. What's all this? Yeah, nosy, oh, you know what? Hmm. Should we be, I don't see, I don't think he has one. Let's see if he has it in here. He has four. Uh, he doesn't have any of the grass though. I think you need the grass for it to grow, all right. I'm not going to be a scumbag and steal his stuff. This is his farm. So we've got raspberry, blackberries, and this is just, it just goes on, guys. This is cotton. Cotton, really? Um, cotton crop. Uh, I think he's missing rice. I think some of these might be messed up with the names. I don't see water. And then, whoever made this part of the mod is a very du very dumb person. Grapes in the ground? No, grapes grow on the vine, sucker. <laughs> All right. Um, he's got a lot of stuff, but we're gonna head back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see if he has any food. I'm sure he does. Let's look at all his goodies. Yeah, not too bad, Krusty. Not too shabby. Uh, I'm sure he's got food around here somewhere. I mean, he's got that giant farm. Probably crusty. Where's all your food at? Um, it's right here. No, does he not have food? There's a little bit of food. Oh man, I just need like three pieces of steak. There we go. Let's uh, let's go. The Nami Noms. All right. Let's uh, go to Revo's base. I don't know if Revo has much done or not. No. Revo is in school right now, so he doesn't have a lot of time to play. J-Cap is... Eh, it's iffy. Okay. Oh, wow. He did not do his book right. So we did Revo. We did J-Cap. Oh, guys, I have an announcement. I just remembered, and I am very sorry, Potato, for this. Uh, we have a new server member. That's right. A new member of the Blockfield people. Um, been a long-time friend of mine. And, uh, like, when I say long-time, if you guys have been on my channel since back when I joined Realm, uh, when we had the Machinima live stream for Notch, like, back in the day, probably two or three years ago, um, I had about 4,000 subs at the time, and, uh, I was, Potato was on our team at the time. Uh, he's part of Team Mongoose, and he's friends with Brenny, so you might know him from that. He is now on the server, and, uh, Potato Orgy. So, everybody, I would like for you to, in the comments section, and I'll link his channel below. 
Uh, I would love for you guys to go to his channel and welcome him to Blockville appropriately because I've done a terrible job of it. Um, and he, look at him. He's a damn good builder. Look at this guy. He's just making floor patterns. Dude, look at this guy go. I'm proud we added him. Uh, anyways, guys. So, yeah, definitely. I'll link his channel. Definitely check out his channel below first off. Um, <coughs> in the comment section of his channel. And all that good stuff. Make sure you uh, leave the appropriate stuff. Oh, we forgot Aurora's. I gotta show Aurora's. We can't just, like, hate her. Be a hater. Let's Coco. You know what? We'll check the rest of them later. Um, there's one thing on my mind right now, and I've gotta go do it. It's gonna bug me if I don't. Take that. And that. Alright. According uh, with, with the slime farm and all... We need to, um, we need to get some slime balls. Slime balls are pretty important in FTB. They, they have a lot of uses. And that's what this island right here is for. Uh, with this island, you can get a sapling. And honestly, I don't think, actually, you know what? I bet we could go right there and do it. Um, I forget what they call these things. I think this is just like a slime island. I'm not sure though, but uh, you know like the, the congealed slime, like the blue congealed slime, the stuff you can eat? <clears throat> you can get this stuff on mass quantities up here. And these, these things are actually really helpful because you can use those blue slime balls and uh, pretty much make anything that a green slime ball would need. So we're going up here and we're going to do a little bit of, little bit of pillaging. Um, you can get a tree and this tree will give you slime balls as well so hopefully this slime I don't think we're gonna have enough blocks especially if we fall off hmm. this is super sketchy wow oh we have some right here I'm like how in the hell am I gonna get over there Okay. Here we go. Okay, he's probably gonna come after me. Damn it! Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I was even ready for him and everything. Scumbag slime. Wow, bro. Wow. All right. You know what? Let's get prepared and we'll come back. I'll be back in just a second, guys. I am back and we. Time to get vengeance on this island. Um, anyways, yeah, once we come up here, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Uh, now, to be honest, I'm not sure if it, we need the... Oh, come on, server. Work with me, buddy. Uh, the server, uh, knock on wood, has not been lagging. We have some block lag, but, you know, that happens with new servers. And apparently, pillaring straight up is not one of the things it really likes to do. This time I brought three stacks of blocks with me, too. You're going down. There we go. So, as you can see, very different than what you're used to up here. Uh, first off, this is slimy grass. You can literally just break this and collect it. And now, as far as I'm concerned, I want to use this grass to grow these trees. That, that to me screams FTB I don't know um, this is green slime ball this is congealed green slime if you jump on it it's bouncy I'll show you that right oh you scared the shit out of me die sucker die there we go uh, you know what it's nighttime I'm gonna wait a second until it's daytime I'll be right back all right guys I am back it's daytime so, as I was saying, this is uh, congealed green slime. If you place this down, it's bouncy. Boink, bounce, bounce. Uh, good thing about this is you can break this down into four slime balls each. Um, now, the grass, I don't know about the grass. Um, now, the blue congealed slime, this stuff, is basically the same thing, except for it makes the blue slime balls. As far as the water goes... I'm not sure if it's regular water or what. It could be slimy water. I didn't bring a bucket to think about it, though. 
Uh, what we're here for is to collect all this congealed slime, and I'm kind of curious, actually. Ah, okay. Um, I probably won't collect much more of the uh, blue congealed slime. It's just uh, not very good, I guess. But uh, what I'm here for is this. Uh, I'm here for this tree. This is pretty cool. Every time I break a piece of this tree, it makes that noise. Uh, not only that, but um, whenever you uh, whenever whenever you break a leaf, it makes the same noise. So, anyways, what I'm waiting for is some saplings. Um, let's see, we have eight. Let's go ahead and collect a little bit more of this grass. This grass does not spread unless you have this blue slime dirt. Take that. What is that? That makes us 14. Let's go 16. Is there another piece up there or something? No. There we go. So this tree will eventually break down. It's slow going, though. I feel like I missed a piece or something. Slimy grass. That's so cool. Maybe we might have to break it with our hands. I don't know. And single player broke by itself. Alright, there's one sapling. Getting slime balls for days over here, people. All right, I would like to get like four of these saplings if possible. Ugh, this is so weird. Let me up. Okay. There's another one, so we have three. Four. Let's uh let's pillar up some. Let's knock all this out right now. Yeah, but you would um you would essentially be a fool not to at least come up to one of these mountains. Uh even if you don't like, like, even if you're not a fan of slime balls and you hardly ever use them, uh, they still come in handy. Things like thumb craft research and stuff like that. And uh, so, you never know. I mean, hey. So we'll break all this down. Um, let's go here. All right. By the way, guys, I'm not sure about today's video. Most of the time. We try to stick to an hour. I'm actually going to try to give you guys two hours today uh, in one video. I know YouTube is pretty bad about uploading, and I've mentioned it before. So um, just to give you guys a heads up as to what the length of today's video will be, uh, I'm going to try for two hours. It might even be longer than that. So um, that's why we're kind of doing everything. <laughs> Normally, I would cut the, some of this stuff out. So sorry about that. I had to cough super bad. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna break down this tower. Um, by the way, um, I think what I'm going to do is we need to make a pickaxe soon, like a good one. Um, I would really like to get into Tinker's Construct because those tools are pretty darn cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing much dark craft besides making that tome. And I don't even know how to make the tome. It won't even let me. I'm assuming that I need a dark craft wand over a book, I'm assuming? I'm not sure. We might have to test that out. That or I can just look on the uh, wiki and see. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's swim back over to shore. And um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop down all of our rubber trees. And uh, I think there is... Uh, lake there. Uh, we're either going to keep it there or we're going to move everything over this way some. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, by the way, if you hate moving animals via, um, via, like, like, carrots and, uh, seeds and things like that, like the chickens for seeds, cows, wheat, and all that, uh, you can make safari nets. Safari nets are where it's at. <laughs> I was a non-believer. And then I turned into a believer. Trust me, those things are amazing. Hmm. Right, I'm just gonna drink my water here. And that way I don't have to cough really loud again. <clears throat> but uh, we have a decent animal farm. I'd like to get chickens here too, if I could. Okay. 
So like I said, I'm uh I've been pretty much strictly growing these trees. Uh they are superior. Yeah, they don't give you as much wood, but they give you rubber. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I had to do it. <coughs> Ugh, I'm very sorry about coughing in that. I just can't keep pausing the recording every four seconds to cough. Um but, uh, yeah, so we have too much rubber as it is already. We have 21 from that. Uh, and it's this rubber is used as IC2 rubber, too, so... Um, like the little rubber balls. Um, so we're gonna collect all this, we'll get our saplings, and we'll actually go ahead and make, like, a legitimate tree farm out of this. I'm not too worried about, um, like, different types of logs, because that's where the minium stone comes into play. Um, okay, so that makes jungle planks. We can break like three of these down. And that makes logs. Okay, that's not bad. I guess we'll have to eventually go find some other trees if we want to use like, like oak wood or something like that, but... Okay. All the trees! <clears throat> Man, like, I am so over being sick, and I know I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of me being over being sick, because, um, I, I'm so sick of coughing all the time, and things like that, and I'm, I'm on so much medicine right now, I'm taking ear drops, uh, cough, like, or, like, drops for, uh, my ear, like, antibiotics, uh, taking those, um, and I'm taking, like, NyQuil, DayQuil, <laughs> So, I am healthy. Give me stuff. Yeah. Did you just get out of your pen? No. Okay. So, we'll take all this. Alright, we should find a place um, to do this. I was thinking possibly over here. Hmm. Really just not enough room here, though. Like, it does look like a lot of room. Maybe we get a shovel, and we get rid of this island here. I think that's what's messing me up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up real fast, guys. I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, I am back and I've done a lot of work. Um, we're going to look into Safari Nets and see if we can craft the reusable one. Single use, single use. Oh, gas tier? Really? No. Alright, so we're going to craft a bunch of these. 
So that's not a bad crafting recipe. Take that. And good thing about this is we can do this. Do we have anything that smelts? Did I take the mod out? Maybe it's coal. Recipe. Normally you can smelt these. I may have taken the mod out though. We did have a rotten flesh to leather mod. Hmm. A lot of pages. Yeah, I think we got rid of it. Graveyard soil? That's awesome! Yeah, I think we got rid of it. Anyways, let's go ahead. Uh, there. There. Alright, there is a... Whoa, you can make spider webs? That's awesome! Glad I know that! <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take two of each animal. Let's see, we should have enough to do two of each. Yeah, two of each. We'll kill the rest. There we go. Alright, it's killing time. Okay, good to go. We'll go over here. Not to mention, we got food. Look at all that food. All right. Speaking of food, we need food. That's been my my biggest thing so far, is uh, not having food. So we'll take this. Crap. Take that. Put that in there. Split that in half. Get you out of there and put you in there. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so we can make some more safari nuts if we need to. Let's get rid of that and that. I say that's yellow. Why is that yellow for? I realized it was a lamb chop and not a pork chop. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Okay, let's uh, throw those up there. So we will have plenty of food. Hurry up, jeez. Alright, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat the other one of these. Yay, food! Okay. Awesome. Now we're full health and we got food and all of our stuff. Alright, let's pick up all these fences and stuff like that. We're going to move all this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put them in the ground. I've been having problems with animals escaping on 152 a lot. So uh, I don't think they fixed it until 162. Um, so we gotta fix that. We're gonna put them in the ground, I think. We're gonna need to make another shovel, though. There we go. Good thing we already have all this stuff, though. Alright, so we're good to go there. Let's make another shovel. Make sure we don't have one first. No shovel there. No shovel there. We'll take that and that and that. Go there. Shovel time. <clears throat> now, since Pam's Harvest Craft, Pam's Harvest Craft takes a lot of stuff to make different things. I'm pretty sure we're going to. Um, trying to think about how I want to do this. Oh, I know one thing I forgot. I want a bucket. Um, <clears throat> Pam's Harvest Craft requires a lot of different foods to make certain things. Like, say I want to make a pizza. 
I need a lot of different uh, material to do that. So uh, it'd probably be best if we did get a chicken farm going eventually. So we'll leave space for a chicken farm to be in there. Grab that. Okay, and I think I eventually want to get rid of uh, a lot of this area here too. Prepare for seeds, basically. Get rid of all of this over here. <clears throat> okay. If you're wondering why I'm not using the bucket right here, it's because we're close to the water. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, I'm going to be cruel about this, and I'm only going to give them maybe a 5x5. Five five. What's that? That's 3, 4, 5. There we go. <clears throat> we'll leave one space in between. This is a good thing about having safari nets, is that I can pretty much do whatever I need, then be like, oh, I'm done. There we go. Get out of here, sheep. You asked for it, bud. You are in the way. Three, four, five. That worked out pretty good, actually. Uh, we'll have to cut some of this back to make room for the chicken farm eventually. I we'll have to make two more safari nets and go get some chickens. There we go. Um, it actually wouldn't take much. Let's just do that right now. Get rid of this. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to start our, like, rustic area. Now, this farm is going to be pretty small. Um, we're not, this isn't going to be, like, a main farm, obviously. Uh, when we actually start building and using, like, actual farms and things like that, uh, most of that will be automated, and we'll do Mine Factory Reloaded Farms, um, because those have, um, you can do like harvesters and things like that to where it chops down the tree and everything for you. So, a lot easier than what people think it is. One, two, three, four, five. My inventory is so full. There we go. Let's get this. Definitely 46, I don't think, is going to be enough, but we'll see. Uh, no reason to have a fence. Um, I guess if I had to get in and out of there, we should probably find a way to do that. There we go. There we go. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this one. If not, we have plenty of wood. It'll give us an opportunity to clean out our inventory anyways, so... Damn, so close. All right, let's um, let's head back over here. I want to grab some more cobblestone while we're over here because I want to kind of trace uh things. So, actually, you know what? I don't know. We might do like a temporary thing there. There. Why is it not doing what I need it to? Let's put this down here. I think it's these. There we go. Let's sleep really quickly. Oh, it's nighttime. Wait for it to break the plane. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, how are you liking the new season of Blockville? Um, well, the players, like I've been, I've been chatting with the players and things like that, and we got to be honest, guys. We freaking love it. <laughs> Uh, it not only does it kind of give us like that sense of freedom, but at the same time, it, it's it's really cool to have our own pack. Um, I'm still working on permissions and things like that, so it's gonna be a little while for that kind of stuff. But uh, eventually, we will get there. There we go. What I'm thinking about doing for the pathway in this is uh, if you remember remember from Let's Play Minecraft, the pathways we made, 
thinking about doing something like that because we can actually make crack stone and gravel and all that stuff now and a pathway like that would be freaking sick um, let's collect all this nonsense entities on the ground are never good there we go Do, 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 do. All right. Okay, awesome. That right there is perfect. We got our four pins. Okay, so let's go down here. We will do piggies. What are you doing? Okay. Piggy. Sheep, sheep, cow, i oh, like, where'd my other cow one go? There we go. Now, we have some animals around here, but like I said, I guess we could craft some more safari nuts and catch all these. Uh, we need to save two safari nuts for chickens, though. <clears throat> Let's see how many more we can actually craft. Um, we have to have enough string for it first, though. String, slime balls, we need leather. Where did the leather go? Okay, well we can catch a little bit more. It's not bad. Go there. See how many this will break into. <clears throat> not too bad, not too bad. We can make a couple more. Honestly, I think we should probably just save these for chicken. We don't have enough string at the moment. Okay, I am gonna go hunt for chickens guys. I'll be back in a moment. Hi right, guys, I am back. I had to travel pretty far to actually find these two chickens. Take that. Kill this guy. Yeah, on the way there, I actually found a Thomcraft square. Uh, there really wasn't much in it though. Um, as far as things in it, there was like one of these weird processors. I don't really know, but... I'm not too worried about it. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the farm. Okay, I want to grow a carrot. There we go. And I want to grow seeds. Because that's what you basically use to breed all of the animals. Is seeds, carrots, and wheat. So we'll take all that. We got our saplings. Okay. Let's go over here. So like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be a temporary farm or not. I haven't made up my mind yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and there we go. There we go. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do the tree farm. Damn it, I forgot some stuff. I need a hoe. I need a, some more buckets. I just forgot everything, didn't I? Jesus. Okay. There we go. That's a wooden hoe. That's not going to last very long. <laughs> that. I think that's all we're going to need. Ah, we should be good there. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to approach building a little bit different this time. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build, instead of building a whole house at a time, I'm going to be building, um, like, single things if that makes any sense uh, I'm trying to think about where I want to put this farm at maybe right here should work forgot a shovel darn it um, yeah what I'm gonna do is uh, I've always built houses houses on a certain way what I'll do is I'll plan out the room uh, and which is, that's the way you would normally do it in a firm, like an architecture firm or something. You'll plan the room out, uh, and then fill in the walls with the, with the things that you're doing. This time I'm going to build as I go. So I'm going to like be building the face of it. And then whatever we need in that room, I'll put in that room and then surround it with walls. And then we'll keep building. That'll give us, uh, an opportunity to make it very, very detailed. So we're doing two things. That should work. There we go. 
Alright, I brought the bone meal so we can bone meal these carrots. And try to get a couple more planted. Might be able to get that one full. No. Okay. Well, we got one more down, you know. That's better than nothing. Alright, so we have a nice little farm. Um, eventually, we'll be able to breed those guys. So let's go ahead and plant our trees now. So I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. I think we're going to do it there. Three, four. Hmm. Maybe even five. And then from there, it's going to be split down like this. I mean, this is going to be a decent sized farm, so. Dude, tree farm at least. Every other tree. Just like that. Okay. Oh, really? Alright, well, we'll get rid of these three. Not too bad. Alright. Well, we're, uh... We are being productive right now. Look at us go. All right, so the next thing I want to do is grab the slime trees and plant those. These are a little bit different trees. They're a lot bigger uh, in size. So we're going to be a little bit different with them. So let's see. Take that and that. I don't think you can bone meal these trees either. Okay. <clears throat> There's another one over there, too. They're everywhere, man. Yeah, that's one. Okay, so here, here. I'm trying to think about where I want to grow them. <clears throat> like, so what do we do in between here? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I think we'll go here. So there. There. I'm just gonna grow these right next to each other, I think. There we go. Yeah, that should work out pretty good. <laughs> Let's try and bone meal them. No, you can't bone meal them. What we can bone meal is the carrots. Wow, way to give me, like, no carrots whatsoever. There we go. One thing about Pam's Harvest Craft, guys, that you need to know is that uh, it requires direct sunlight. So we can't make any kind of underground farm or anything. We might be able to use glass. Not sure, though. I think we might have got enough from that right there. Sick. All right, let's go breed some piggies. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, how much bone meal do we have left? We might be able to get four, uh, four wheat out of this. Sick. There we go. So we are just breeding right along here. That, uh, our farm is turning out decently good, actually. I'm kind of surprised at how easy this was. <laughs> All right, guys, I think there's something wrong with cows in our pack. Uh, let me find another one and I'll show you. So I have 25 leather on me and I won't tell you how many cows I killed. So we got five right there. That means I just got 25 from one cow. <laughs> I'm trying to make an enchantment table. Uh, I'm going to kind of repair this pick a little bit. Uh, I have a Fortune 3 book, but I would like to enchant the pick first. As long as we don't get Silk Touch, we'll be okay. Uh, but my luck, we will get Silk Touch. Um, I found some more diamonds in the cave. Not to mention, um, we are about to start building uh, the first part of our house. Uh, or the first part of our, like, we're going to have, like, it's going to be kind of like a mansion almost. Not a mansion, but a wealthy-looking area. 
Um, so what's gonna happen is we need a lot of material, and I need a lot of coal to smelt a lot of stone. Um, let's see, I need wood. I know we have a lot of wood somewhere. There's some. None there. None there. Okay, well that's gonna have to do for now. Alright, so let's break this down into paper. And I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, that. 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 Okay, that's a start, but that's definitely not going to be enough for what... We need to do a full enchantment table, so... We need, what, isn't it like 15 pages? Or something like that? Yeah, we made three, so... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not enough. There we go. There's there's some. Let's just go ahead and start placing that down like right here. I'm going to continue to work on this until I have a full one. I'll come back to you when we're about to craft the actual enchantment table though. Alright guys, I am back. We're going to go ahead and build the enchantment table now. There, 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 there there all right let's go ahead and see what that is at uh let's put that in there so we're at 20 right now hold on one second guys all right sorry about that i am back um okay what am i looking for here where did you go there it is okay i brought enough iron to make an anvil one oops what am i doing there we go. Really? Slaps? <laughs> Did not know that. Okay, so first thing I want to see is how much it's going to cost to repair this. Oh wow, only four levels. Is it really worth going full? That right there to me is... that's, that's fine. It's brand new. There we go. So we can still only do level 20. We're also running out of leather as well. Let's see if we have a sword. We have this sword. All right, um, now I know there's cows over this way. So, uh, and I do got bad news. I'm gonna have to cut the video a little bit shorter than what I originally thought. Uh, it's just YouTube, guys. That's, that's all it is. Um, I... We had seven. Okay. I was looking on Twitter and all sorts of people are having problems uploading. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm hoping that I can still even get the video out. So I'm pretty sure I will be able to, just uh, not as long as the original one that I wanted. Okay, so there's 17 more. Um, I wonder how many more bookshelves it's going to take because these aren't really growing. Alright. Take some of those. What does that leave us with? 10, 11, there's 12. Okay, we'll try that. I'm kind of curious to see how much each bookshelf actually adds. Um, we sh we're actually going to need more wood. I can't believe we're out of wood again. Oh, I'm like, what the heck? We like, we run out of wood so fast. All right, first off, paper. There we go. So that'll make one more bookshelf. This is hard, man. Jesus. There we go. So that got us to 22. All right, I'm going to have to cut back in a moment, guys. All right, guys, I am back, and it's finally level 30. Let's go ahead and do this enchantment. Yes. <laughs> Lucky! That's exactly what I wanted. This is what I want to add. Let's see how much this is going to cost to add to this. 16 levels? Okay. I'm very okay with that. Uh, here's why. Because I can come down to our strip mine, and there is just things to do. You know? Like, I can go down here, and I should probably actually bring the anvil with me. Uh, what we can do is we can start smelting stuff, and uh, we'll get XP. That's how I got the 40 XP. I didn't touch a monster, really. 
Um, that, in general, was like pretty much all smelting and mining, things like that. Um, but like I was saying a little bit ago, guys, uh, YouTube is being really, really slow today about uploading. I think we're going to have to forego on the uh, house building, and we're going to add fortune, mine some diamonds, and then we're going to talk about the series a little bit. So, uh, all right, so I I'm ready down here. I have a bunch of stuff in here, but I need coal. That's why I need a fortune pick. Uh, I don't think I have coal anywhere else right now. Let's do that. Okay, so what we can start doing is... Um, it's putting in like three at a time. There we go. There we go. And I will eventually get 16 levels just from doing this. That's not a big deal. So the diamonds that I found were over here. I'm not sure how many is actually there though. Was it over here? Well, it was on the other side. Where the hell are they? I was collecting coal. I feel like it was on this side. I was collecting coal. Is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. ba -doom. So we have some diamonds there to collect. I think I want to start collecting all this loose ore stuff. That, uh, anything that gives me XP. And I'll come back to you guys in a minute. Alright guys, unbelievable turn of events. I actually found more diamonds Oh, sorry. Uh, more diamonds looking for that. So right now, we have uh, 17 levels. Let's get our anvil out. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. So now we have a Fortune 3 pickaxe. All right, let's go mine these bad boys. So... First one was right here. This is the new ones I found. So we have zero diamonds on us. Uh, in the comment section, guys, before we mine this, leave your comment on how many diamonds you think we'll get at the end of all of them. So let's see. One. Damn it. Come on now. Okay. Okay. I can work with that. As long as it's more than one every single time, I'll be happy. Damn it. Ooh. We got a 4Z right there. Okay. So the next one should be, is it down this one? Yeah, sweet. Okay. So we're at sitting at 11. Aw, oh, come on now. Come on. Wow. Oh, sweet, more. Two. And four, oh, wow, we got four that time. So 20 diamonds, guys. Whoever guessed 20, you guys are good. Now, don't cheat. Don't cheat either. No cheaties. <laughs> okay. So, I know we didn't do all that much this episode, guys. But it is the beginning episodes. We'll definitely, next on Wednesday, we're going to be getting a lot done. Um, take all that. I got to go through all these caves and collect all this stuff. Uh, some of my game plan for this is... Probably going to make a couple more minium stones, and I'm going to continue to smelt and smelt and smelt. Once we get stone brick, we can make all of the stuff that we need. So, um, besides getting prepared, um, I'll be, I might plot out a little bit of the house that I want to do. Like, start laying out the area up top. Definitely going to torch down everything. Uh, all that good stuff. Let's pick up that XP. Uh, yeah, I, I, have a, I have a pretty big agenda as to what I want to do. Uh, this was one thing, one of the reasons why I wanted fortune so badly. Because you you just get so much cold doing this. So, uh, yeah, I have a pretty big idea of what I want to do. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's special. Sorry it couldn't be what it was. Uh, you're just going to have to chalk it up to being YouTube being YouTube, pretty much. I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed the video, would you guys mind leaving a rating? That's all I ask. Um... Let's go for 3,000 likes, guys. I hope that you have a great day. This is Ijevin. Peace out.